That would be the absolute best time to sneak in. The University of Notre Dame, one of the last Western bastions for Roman Catholicism. But everyone knows the real religion here is football. Both the religion and the football it unites us as a campus. You got priests living in the dorms right down the hall from you, but you also got football players living across the hall from you. That's touched on Jesus. Um, that's the most iconic symbol probably on campus. God, country, football. With the Clemson Tigers coming to South Bend, it was the perfect time to earn some stripes. It's number one versus number four. It's the biggest game of the year. Legendary coaches, players. Just a big name school, plays big name opponents. Could be a very high scoring game. It's a one in a lifetime opportunity to see Notre Dame in person beat a number one team. And just as the Catholic Triduum goes Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the Notre Dame football program goes players, fans, and ushers. I am in my sixth year as a Section 9 Bowl Usher. It started with my father and he had a mutual interest of Notre Dame football with our UPS driver. He is a no-nonsense, serious, straight to the point, get it done type of a guy. Do you have a problem with being an authority figure as an usher and kicking someone out? Oh, I don't have any trouble with that at all. They take their job very, very seriously. They enjoy the smell of their own farts, maybe. Oh, uh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, the ushers inside the stadium, it's all volunteer. There's thousands of people involved every game day. Every game day, these women and men dutifully show up as humble servants of Touchdown Jesus. In Notre Dame, they let you watch the game if you're an usher. Now, also, you're working. It just makes more work if someone's there drunk, causing trouble, yelling, puking. A lot of bullshit you gotta put up with. Getting called a loser, having to break up fights, people taking a swing on you. And hell, I don't get paid to do this shit. When someone comes in and they're drunk and they puke in your section, oh, that ticks me off. You're out. Yeah, we're ushers, but we're also there to watch the game. Ushering came with a cross to bear for sure. But it also came with some perks. Best seat in the house. That's where all the VIPs come. All the people with the Super Bowl rings, national championship rings, and they like to make sure you see them when they walk up there. There's other people that are paying a thousand bucks a seat, and I get to go in and watch it free. Is it true that you had a thing with Taylor Swift? That, uh, we shared a moment. Wow. Yeah. Taylor, if I meet my goal weight, which is losing 145 pounds to get down to 240 pounds, would you go on a date with me? I'm down 43 pounds as of this morning. So does that count to the 140 or? God, I hope so. Please count it, Taylor. Yeah, yeah let's count it. Let's yeah, count it, let's Taylor. count it, Taylor. We're rooted for you. Let's go, Taylor. Let's go. Writing a love story with a celeb was quite the incentive, but were these ushers willing to put their reputation on the line? Did you ever want to sneak someone into the game? <laughs> Say no more. Say no more. <laughs> Did your dad ever sneak anyone into a Notre Dame game? Oh, well, um, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, especially my family. But you have to learn from someone somehow. And I learned from the best. I was beginning to get some ideas but Notre Dame Stadium was starting to feel like Fort Knox. I heard a story that someone had tried to sneak in. From what I've heard, it's very hard to do. You have to have your student card. They scan your ticket, which can't be duplicated. They've been really strict on who gets to come in. It'd be very hard to get in. It was the biggest game of the season. I couldn't cut it as a player, and tickets were only available for students. If I wanted to touch that hollowed ground, I'd have to make it in as an usher. What do you have to be wearing to look exactly like an usher? Khaki pants, white shoes, navy blue, Under Armour shirt, yellow hat. After scouring every thrift shop in a 30 mile radius, I put together the perfect ensemble for myself, a cameraman, and a producer. Stop, hey, no running. They divide the stadium into four, north, south, east, west, each zone has its own supervisor. It starts with the grunts actually at the gate. One step above them would be the bowl ushers. One step above me would be a captain. Each section has a captain and has about five to nine bowl ushers. There's a supervisor that's on top of the other two. And then there's another one at the top. It's sort of like the military. Be on the lookout, just keep it moving. 
Some curious interviews had turned into the perfect recon mission. We had all the info we needed. It was the moment of truth. We were in the game. It was time to go to work. Have you ladies had anything to drink? Okay, could you just follow my finger here? Hey Jim, one sec, I just need my, uh, yeah, yeah, my yeah. captain to take a look. Jim, could you check these? After putting in work all game, our intensive labor didn't go unnoticed. A supervisor assigned us to the front row for the waning seconds of this instant classic. Come on. They had done it. The Irish had pulled off the upset. But wait. There was a problem. There was a global pandemic. If anyone was going to protect the reputation of Notre Dame and the sanctity of this win, it would have to be us, the ushers. So, like good ushers, we tried to keep the field clear. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We helped students injured in the fray. Let's get some medical attention. We ushered the Notre Dame players to safety and protected the losers from Clemson. And through all that, the students recognized our greatness. We were the heroes Notre Dame needed. And that line from Rudy was right. It was the most beautiful sight these eyes had ever seen.